What's up everybody? Uh, today we are going to be making a meme. I've already done a few of these on my Teef Powder channel, T-E-E-F Powder YouTube channel, but I figure maybe uh, we do some for Nature Hacker too. So we, here we have the uh, weight, it's all Ohio meme. See this person has a thing about uh, a flag of Ohio and this is the US flag and they get in space and they see that it's all Ohio and this guy says wait it's all Ohio and this guy says it's always been or something like that so um, today we're gonna make one on Tim Sweeney Epic Game Store so what we're going to do is instead of the world we're gonna put this Epic Game Store China flag and instead of the Ohio patch over here we're gonna put Tencent patch there so what it's gonna say is wait it's all China so you're gonna see China with Epic Game Store it's gonna say wait it's all China and he's gonna say Tencent guy's gonna say always has been <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna go with that um, so um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out this astronaut right here so what we go is view zoom and we're gonna go up to like 400 zoom <clears throat> then you want to get as good of uh, and you just start, uh, you just click, oh I have this uh, lasso tool selected, and you just start, click once, and you just slowly keep clicking all the way up with this astronaut here. The more times you click, the um, more smooth it's going to look. So what this is all about is <clears throat> that Epic Game Store, um, as this meme says, is owned by Tencent. Tencent is one of the three top Chinese companies. Uh, <clears throat> the three top are Alibaba, Tencent, and um, Huawei. So, you know, I believe <clears throat> that these China companies in China in general are um, planning to take over the world. And I don't think that's such a big stretch to think because China has already taken over manufacturing <clears throat> in uh Worldwide manufacturing, really. I mean, basically, they've made everybody dependent on Chinese manufacturing. So, is it really? And then we look at like their plan, like their what was it, 2030 plan or 2020 plan. Um, they basically want to take over the world. And with these three companies, what they can do is, uh, in the in in terms of the online entertainment industry, which you know is a big deal, not just entertainment but also any kind of software, is that. They, um, let me just check the video, make sure everything is good. Yep, everything looks good. Um, so, what they want to do, well, what Ten, let's just say what Tencent is. Tencent is the app store of the three. You know, Alibaba is basically how to sell um, manufactured goods worldwide. Um, and, uh, so that's Alibaba. That's like manufactured goods worldwide. Um, and then there's Tencent, uh, which, well, let me first start with Huawei. Then there's Huawei, which what they do is they make electronic devices. So things like phones or even game consoles they're starting to do. And then the third, uh, the third head of the beast, wait, I mean the third horn of the beast, wait, I mean the third company is Tencent. And what they do is they're kind of like the app store kind of uh, player. And they already have an app store, and I think it has a 55, it takes a 55% cut from developers. So um, Tim Sweeney is saying, oh, Epic Game Store only takes a 15% cut. Well, maybe, but their, their, uh, <clears throat> their largest investor, who owns 40% of Epic, has their own app store that takes 55%. So... They have, on one hand, Epic Game Store, which takes the smallest cut of any app store, and on the other hand, they have an app store that takes the largest cut. So what are they really trying to do? Do you think they really want to help gamers or you know software developers or anything like that? Um, or are they trying to monopolize the market, get everybody else to, all the other companies to die out, and then be able to dominate with their 55% cut. You know, they, they lead with a 12% cut, then they switch to a 55% cut when all the other players are dead. And they could say, well, yeah, I mean, not, look, even 30% wasn't sustainable because 
all of those app stores died and they had a 30% cut. So we need a 55% cut, Judge. That's just what we need to survive. This isn't monopoly. This is survival, Judge. Look, everybody died. It was because of COVID. It was because of the climate crisis. It was because of all these things. It wasn't because we killed them. No, of course not, never. So that's where I see this is going is that if they get their way, which I would like to say they're just absolutely not because it's completely unreasonable the lawsuit Epic is bringing against Apple. But I also believe that China will actually take over the world before 2024. And, you know, this is a lot of my posts kind of like prophecy sort of stuff is that China is the beast, <clears throat> the beast of revelation and not the real one or anything. Like, I don't think we're in the end of the world, like we're in the real tribulation or anything. But what I do think is that this is a, this is a tribulation. And there has been many in the past, all from the, every time the, there is the uh, <clears throat> Revelation uh, 12 sign. And you can look in at uh, naturetracker.org to find more about that. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna copy, control C. We're gonna go to a file new, and we want to make sure that advanced options, that this is transparency, which it is. It, not, it, all, it only is because I've set it to that, Like, so you're gonna have to do that. And don't worry about the pixel size at this point. So just hit okay, control V. Oh, actually, I might have just totally messed it up. Let's see here. Zoom. Let's see if well, our selection is gone. So what I forgot to do is I forgot to select it. Anyway, let's control Z this and see if we can get back to good. Okay, so we're back to where we, we didn't lose it all, thankfully. So what you want to do is you want to go in between one of these two uh, dots here and you want to double click on the line. And see how it turns into a little dotty movie line. Now you can control C it. Go over here, control V, and we got our astronaut. Perfect. Alright. Is he perfect? Probably not. I should probably come with the an eraser and kinda kinda, you know, get any any of the black outline off of it. But for now, we're okay. So let's just click it down. Just clicking, you know, just a left click on the background and He's now set in that transparency. So that's great. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this and we're going to just control C it and control V over here just to get a sense of, uh, um, let's just view, zoom out. Let's go to zoom, let's go to 100. Okay, yeah, this is way too big. So let's control Z that, control Z it again. Let's come back over here and what we're going to do is we're going to resize this. So we go to, from to image, scale image, Let's go to, um, let's guess, 600. Make sure this link is on, which it is. Hit enter, and it automatically populates the height. Hit scale, control C that. Over here, control V. Okay, we're getting somewhere, it's closer. We don't want it to be that big though. Control Z, control Z, come back. Let's control Z again. That way we, um, aren't scaling it twice. So let's go here, scale to 400. Let's see what that does. Scale, control C, control V. Okay, we're getting there. Um, see, we'd like to cover up that world. I mean, it's possible for us to edit the rest of that world out, but it would be nice if we didn't have to. So let's control Z again a couple times. Control over here, control Z. So, you know, let's try 500. Uh, image, scale image, 500. Enter, scale, control C, control V. All right, we're getting pretty good here. Um, you know, that's probably as good as we can do. Um, another thing we can do is we can, let's uh, control Z a couple times here. Let's see if we have something open in our browser here. So, hmm. Let's try here, and this would be good because you'll be able to see us get a new image into here. So what I did is went in here and I cropped it. So what we can try to do, let's um, control minus so we can actually see this thing. 
let's let's just let's straight up crop this thing here which makes it easier um, let's just try to go as high up as we can here and uh, as close in as we can let's see Oop. let's try new we see we have that black line at the bottom let's try this again let's try this again Come in as close as we can, and we're looking pretty good. So let's save that. Save that as epic flag one. And let's come back here. We do file, open, epic flag one, open. Great. So now let's try that instead. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna really help much, but uh, let's image, scale image, 500. And yeah, we got some more height, so that, that'll be nice. So let's uh, control C this over here, control V, and see if we can cover up that. Yeah, there we go. That works, that saves us a little bit of time. So what we wanna do is come over here to the floating selection, right click and do to new layer. And now we can click on the background and we can see it looks great. So now you know why I cut out this astronaut because then what I can do is come over here, control C this, come back, control V. And what we're gonna wanna do is turn this also into a new layer. And what we can do is we have this selected and we hit the up button and boop, there it comes above the flag, perfect. So. Now we can go to the selection tool and move this thing wherever we want. So we want to come and get it really close. So we're gonna have to zoom to 400 or so. And uh, we're gonna have to try to line it up as good as we can here. And then I'll show you what we do after that. So let's say, like, let's call that good. Now what we do is we hide it. See how it moves when we hide it? That means that it's a little too far over, so let's try this. Oh, when we hide it, nothing happens. That's exactly how you know you lined everything up perfectly. So let's file save this. Save as weight canvas um, weight mean. Save as an XCF for now. And let's view zoom out to 100 and see how it looks. Very, very good. So that is pretty nice. You know, if we wanted to make it like really professional, we could have used some tools to actually like um, erase the earth. I mean, you can't really erase it, you kind of have to paint over it, but there's tools you can use like heal and uh, clone and uh, smudge to be able to kind of get the background back to the way it looks, the starry background, without the world in it. You can definitely do that. I just opted not to take the time to do that and I think this is good enough I think this looks pretty good and what we'll do is we're gonna put some captions over here and uh, we will maybe be good to go so uh, let's try starting with some of that now let's create a text box wait it's all China And then, let's get this to like maybe 20, and 30. That's cool, I mean, and we don't even have to do a background on uh, on that text, I don't think, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's go to the selection tool, and let's move this. You have to click on the actual text itself. Um, but, you know, it would be good to do a, a selection, um, so, um, let's let's figure out how to do that. I forgot how to uh, to do the background of a text, so I'm just gonna let you follow along while I do this. So, how do we outline te uh, text in GIMP? So you know you can ask questions to uh, DuckDuckGo or wherever you want to use, and you can find some answers. So how do I outline text? I kind of forgot how to do it. So um, let's see how we do. It. So, game file. So we got the text. We made the text. 
in text, type your text, highlight the text in GIMP text editor box, okay. Set the parameter in the cell box, proofread, okay. Click the color selection tool in your toolbox, all right. Click your text, it should all highlight. Set the foreground color. Set the stroke width. Drawing a selection. Type your text. Highlight the GIMP. Some parameters. Group free. Decide you're happy with the text. Click select. Grow. Okay. So, okay. What you want to grow? Create a layer. Yeah, you know, it's a little complicated, and this isn't really the guy that I was looking for, but yeah. Okay, so from path. So, okay, this is this is what I'm looking for here. Um, Click the text tool, um, or go to the tools menu and select text. Click on the image canvas and open GIMP text editor. Type your desired text and click close. Select a font, size, and color in the text selection of the text section text section of the toolbox. Select the text again and select path from text button in the toolbox. That's what I wanted. So we're going to uh, select this, and we're going to um, look for path from text. Select. I think it's on select. Path. Text to path. So that's in layer. So let's see if that works. All right. Now we go to Now go to layer and select new layer, transparency. And then go to select menu and click from path. So, okay, layer, new layer, transparency. So layer, new layer, transparency. Okay. Now. Now select select menu and go to from path. So select from path. Boom. Okay, that's exactly what we want. Now we do um, we want to do grow. I think I saw that somewhere. Here, select grow. Grow by three pixels. Let's say okay. Cool. All right. Now we've got it. Now we can come in with the fill, like the little uh, thing here. Um, we want to select black here. Okay, so now we want to zoom. Let's do 200, and what we want to do is fill in. Oh, okay, all right. Let's uh, knock that layer down one. There we go, we got it. All right, cool. So that's good for now. Um, now let's go to select none, and boom, we got it. Control minus is, or um, sometimes you control minus, you have to let go of control and then hit minus. So anyway, wait, it's all China. And then this guy's gonna say, always has been. So another font. Let's see if we can do that this time without cheating. All, oop, now we're at black, so we need to go select white, and you know you can do any color you want. But always has been. Select it. Let's come back to font size. Oh man, uh, control. Uh, I can't see this box, can I? Hmm. Maybe if we move it. Maybe if we move it. I don't know if we can edit again though, can we? 
Yeah, we can. All right, we're good. Has select font, bring it down. I think the last one was like 20, 30 maybe. Oops, didn't get the last line. 30. Cool. Go to selection tool, click on the, you have to click the text itself or else you're gonna move the background and it's all gonna be messed up. All right, cool, right there. And we don't need to change that up, really. So I think we're pretty much done. You know, it's not the best meme, it's not perfect, but I think it does the job. So, last and final step. Um, let's just select the background. So we can, duh, hello. Um, the weight canvas. All right, now what we do is just file save as that XCF, like whatever. But now what we want to do is save at, or export as, of course. And let's export as a PNG so we can share it where we would like to. So um, I'm probably going to share it on some uh, Reddits like Epic Mega Fail and also um, ePig Store, something like that. So let's export it. And export. <laughs> And we are done. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.